Hey guys, it's Cullen here. I'm back with another episode in my Open Transport Tycoon game. So, after seeing a few comments in the last, well, one comment in the last video that you guys were enjoying it, I thought I would uh, at least record another episode. Um, I might actually do two in this session, so you'll get another two more. Well, after this one, one more, at least. So in the last episode, we did a, um, a line down here to drop off goods to this station, which is earning me 50,000 a trip. 56,000 a trip. So, um, so they're coming through nice and quickly. Our income is perfect. It's exactly where we want it. At 2 million for the year. <laughs> Great. Um, so now we look at places to expand. Um, before we do this, we just do a quick check of our production facilities and make sure they're all fairly high. Um, for a 60 ton, 70% is about the most you'll get. Um, but yeah, 84 is where exactly where we want to be. Um, and that's not a failure of our business. That's actually part, one of the mechanics of um, the industry in this game. You can get... Um, pay for subsidies with the town, like uh, you can do advertising campaigns to get it higher, but quite frankly it's not worth it. So let's look at other industry I think would be a good way to go, because um, an iron ore chain might not be a bad idea. So iron to a steel mill, and then steel mill to a factory. Um, uh, iron is a lot rarer than your forest than that. That's why I don't go for it first. It's also harder to get started. Uh, maybe iron's not going to be good on this map. Oh, that's that's a pretty good line here. You got four in a straight, fairly straight line. They're not great, but if we were to um, get them. There's two up here as well. And, and you see how I'm just looking for sort of like where I can link a couple together? So if I bring these two down to this one here, these four up to this one here, we've now got six mines. Seven if I bring this one in. It doesn't matter how poor or good the production is because we've got the money to back it. And then we would possibly bring these two in as well. There's enough potential on this side of the map to do that. So, the only problem is this little town, um, they're going to get quite annoyed at us. Because I'm going to do a lot of work on his land. Maybe this one. Because if you build too close to their town, oh, I need to turn that off. Um... Oh, settings, news, um, that was a way to, how do I turn that off? That beep was driving me crazy and I don't know where it is. Button clicks, news ticker off, newspaper off. Okay, that's okay. I do have this, the music off. It does get quite repetitive after, you know, several hours. So we were looking at steel mills. Now this one is pretty well placed. This one's probably better because it's not close to a town. If it's too close to a town, you end up digging up their backyard and they hate you. So... If we look at this one, let's. We have the unload factory on this side, the load factory on this side. Okay, so let's have a look at this. If we do 
my standard I think I'm driving on this side I can't remember no I'm driving on that side okay so that's the input side that's the output side that's fine so what we'll do here we'll add three there um, we'll go four now I will expand a station if I need to um, it's not outside the realm of possibility and I will use I will terraform if I have to but they're things I don't do a lot of um, the reason why I'm putting this in first um, rather than waiting like I normally do I want to see where my lines are going to go normally I wouldn't bother with the load station now as this is downhill it's fine um, we're actually going to you'll find a path eventually I think he's just waiting at a at a platform okay so what you want to do when you've got a quite a large station is have somewhat decent of a lead off um, when you um, come out of a station so you want lights on the station platform and then you'll want the train length so four and then another set of lights this allows a train to accelerate up to the lights that way they spend as little time in the crossover as possible it's yeah something a little more advanced but um, how about we go to two okay we can do that um, outside ones will only go to no it should be there like that I think that's right no I've done that wrong but anyway it's the inside ones that will cross over because uh, because it's, it's yeah anyway it doesn't matter you know what they all should go to one anyway if it's going to be a problem I'll, I'll deal with it later um, it is wise to separate the streams if you can so like that that way they kind of merge down first All right. Let's have a look at where we're going here. So let's quickly do these two. And when I say quickly, I mean quite quickly. These are going to be fairly standard, no loop arounds. Straight up. Nothing special. I normally put the hub on the what do you call it side this the the industry side that way uh that way you know you're not really going to expand there so you don't have to delete it later Now, if it wasn't so close to the city, I'd go around the other side of the uh, track, but as it's fairly close, um, we'll do this. And I just want to show you, you can put signals under bridges, just so you're aware. And you can angle track under bridges and all types of awesome things. This game has added so many uh, quality of life features that are... really really good so that's the outside line no inside line what am I doing like that perfect so now they're basically exactly where I want them signal there control that way control that way now we get a 
where are we coming? We're coming down here. I'll, I'll do something a little bit interesting with this station as well. Um, let's uh, also do something a bit interesting here. Um, I think that's that should be far enough. It's two squares, so half a train length. Where are we going? If we get up on this plateau, then we're pretty much okay. Yeah, beautiful. I'll actually go one more square. Beautiful. There we go. Alright. Somewhere here. Nope. This one here, we come past it. Let me just click on this guy. What's your problem? Anyone in the depot? Okay. That's twice he's uh, alerted me, so... Uh, yes. Normally I don't up upgrade the trains to... um. What do you call it? until diesel turns up so what I'm going to do here is I'm holding control and pressing sell all trains um, that train obviously isn't needed so get rid of it it waited too long uh, back to what we're doing okay so the output is going to come out here and around so what I'm thinking is Nice and simple. Like that. Um, oh yeah, that's, that works perfect. Like that. And then this one here comes up the hill. I might turn that like this. It's a bit of a janky hill, but that got it. Beautiful. Alright. So we can get iron delivered pretty much straight away. Um, what we're going to need is um, when this other stuff comes online, we're going to have to jump over here and then, yeah, it'll be fine. So let's uh, signal this. Signal this. Uh, you can call your stations whatever you want. You can put lights here. If you want, because this length is long enough, they're not really needed for this station. The changeover is fast enough. Okay, so let's uh, get some trains. So we come down here, new vehicle. Let's buy the new one. It's like 6,000 more, but it goes faster. Uh, we want a iron ore hopper. Once again, to four. Uh, there are some quality of life settings I still don't have enabled. Um, That should be more than enough. If it's not, I'll delete one. So, I actually don't want that depot. I want this depot. Uh, no control on that one. I, no, I think I did. I'll fix that in a second. So, you go to uh, that one with control. Delete that one. And this train here, which we just selected, go to hold control and it will share their orders when you click on them by holding control. And we turn these two on. Uh, we are going to need lights down here. Nice.
Sweet. Okay, that's the start of iron ore. Okay, let's have a look where we want to deliver this to. Hmm. The further the better. Because I've got to think about the farms as well. Because you deliver the steel to the um, the factory and the livestock and grain from farms. So I'm thinking somewhere down here, maybe this one. Um, there's one right here. And that's going to do me some good favours, actually. So, once again. This one's going to be the input-output. And we're just basically going to do exactly what we did on the last one. Oh, I could turn it 45 degrees, but this is fine. Um... I don't really want to go up this hill, but I will do it like this. I hope that's... yeah, that should be enough. Always keep your load stations separate, otherwise you're going to be in a world of pain. I'm having a real hard time visualising at the moment uh, what I'm actually trying to achieve, but it's okay. I will work it out in my head. <laughs> Let's uh, put a bridge here. So I don't think I mentioned that this game is open source. Oh, those bridges are in slightly the wrong spot. Um, which is great because then it's free. Um, so I am using the base graphics set and, you know, it, it holds up. It's not quite as charming as the original, but... um. It doesn't make your eyes bleed, so that's fine. Let's uh, see where I want to path this. Um, so I do want to come through here. I probably... Yeah, so I'll come through here. Up. Alright, so we're basically going to come along here. And I don't really care about um, the terrain, I'll just go straight over it. I only care if I have to, like, go up more than one tile at a time. This is okay. We might actually meet up without... Oh. Let's, uh, not do that. Let's do this. And we'll meet it up. And I didn't even have to do anything. Look at that. It's got a really dedicated community, this, this game. All forms of it. Um, I originally started with a TDD patch, really. Oh, I did play a bit of the original, but nowhere near as much. Um, I played more ro Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day. Um, it's a point like this where I'm actually going to terraform a little bit. Just that. Run it straight across the edge there. Where do I want to get to? I think I do want to drop it down. I mean, I, I will terraform. I just choose not to most times if I can help it. 
but there's certain situations where it's beneficial. So, like this, so I can set an angle up without having to take seven corners. Okay, would have been nice to go a little further up, but how about we aim for here? Nice. Uh, you do not want to run along the edge of the water. There's a very big cost difference. Uh, so yeah, run on flat land as much as possible. I mean, here, we'll just use this as an example. Four tiles worth 920, four tiles worth 2600. <laughs> so, yeah. It's one of those things. And if you use cost multiplier mods, which they're they're out there, it really starts to stink. Like if I was to uh, blow up a piece of water, sixteen thousand. Don't do it. It's expensive. <laughs> but these are the things you've got to run into. Otherwise, so we'll do this like that. Yes, the bridges in this game, amazing. My, the amount of times like uh, you play a game and oh, it, that that needs to be on level ground or that needs to, no, this game doesn't care. <laughs> they fixed that years ago. I'm so happy they did. Um, I don't need this double track here, but it's nice. So realistically, we could load up some uh, iron trains and get them going, uh, steel trains rather. So let's put these two like that, drag them down, and you'll notice how fast I build stuff. Uh, once you get to where I am in playing, everything just comes together nice and quick. Now because this lead in is quite long, I am going to put those lights there. Um, like that, that's fine, and we're good. So we can run both the livestock and everything into this side station. And we'll want the load station here. And this is going to be goods. <laughs> so we're quickly building up a, a nice big network here. And we'll uh, run it out. Here's a good place for one. Uh, wrong one. I don't remember the explosion shortcut. There's shortcut keys for almost everything as well. So, this one here. Uh, flat wagon, steel wagon. Once again, our usual four. Full load there. I'm actually going to start it to hopefully get gets there before that other train does. Oh, he's only just going to get it. Alright, so if this train had got there before he did, this train would no long wouldn't have the um steel modifier. So um it wouldn't deliver it to this station. So it would be lost to the ether. So they need to have one train or uh bus or whatever. Wow, he got a full load out of that. Okay. Let's skip. Cool. If he got a full load out of that, that's awesome. Let's uh, clone several of them. I know I don't have that many iron trains yet, but... Watch what I do here. Okay, so we know the trains come up here. So back here, I'm going to split them off. Uh, somewhere here. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's actually... Let's do this. Let's do this. I like to use tunnels where possible. They don't have speed limits. And especially if you like got to go... Um, up a hill and then over a uh, bridge 
you're going to slow down. So, best to only go up one hill. So that's that one. And then this is really easy. That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> Yeah, I've already got it because I, I I was uh, good to business. So now these uh, steel trains can run down this track, and so can the iron uh, ore trains. So we've got a platform right here waiting to happen. And this one here, what we'll do, we will do. Uh, I'll bring it back just slightly. Uh, we'll do the usual crossover. Um, this one here will cross out at, at an angle because why not? And we'll give it some time to get some speed up, and then we're good. We'll put a bridge across here like this. Hold control. Let's uh, get one more. Um, if I'd left it on this one, I would have basically only just gone past that light. I want to go one more past it. It's just, it's a bit nicer. Now, I normally put the, what do you call it, on the depot on that side. But we'll put it here. They won't, in this game, they won't be able to use that because I disabled that years ago. So that's fine. New vehicles, give me a steam train, give me some iron ore hoppers. And there, beautiful. So let's uh, clone this train. We'll just do it twice for now. I'll turn them on. Let's have a look. 81 tons. That will last a little while. So there we go. We got another one over here, 90 tons. So we'll quickly do that one in. And you can see how quick and rapid I can uh, get these out. Uh, somewhere there's fine. Don't like it. So I. When you hold onto the mouse, you don't actually do anything until you release the mouse. So uh, let's clone this train to make it quicker. No control click on that one. Once again, select where we where it's going to. Control click there, delete the top one. That's easy enough. Let's uh, put some lights in. Just these first ones. So I can do that. I want to clone that as well. And clone it once more. We'll turn them on. And while there, that's working, we will finish this. Um, this bridge is not going to be the nicest bridge, but actually, let's not do it there. Let's do it one away. I not. I don't know. I might have enough room. I might not. So we lost a little money, but I've been building pretty heavily. A little bit of uh, terraforming there. Uh, I want... Alright, that worked out better. Okay. Put the light here. Send it back. Put the light here. Send it back. Um, let's go and see where this train was. Uh, location. Where are you going? Waiting for free path. Um, is there no... Okay, fixed. Well, that, that could have been bad. Okay. It's always good to 
leave those notifications on but as you can see 80% that's fine 77% 30 tons though yeah. <laughs> so there we go there's a, a really good expansion into uh, steel and this side of it and as you can see we're well we're not producing a lot per month but we're started and uh, in the next episode I'll go chasing all these extra mines there's another one there it doesn't have a lot but at this stage in the game we can afford to just grab everything and when you build these central lines you just tee into them that's part of the reason why I made this line where I did um, there's one two three and then yeah all in one big line so I'll run a line down this way and then we'll uh, pick them up if you've enjoyed what you've seen please uh, let me know um, if you want to see more also let me know thank you for watching have a great day